Uh, I was very lucky to participate um, in this program uh, with collaborate with Purdue University and um, I believe it's a very important program to really improve if we want to improve the local industries in Africa and improve the health health sector in Africa it's very important to have uh, capacity building efforts and really train the students in good manufacturing practices and regulatory sciences and that is what uh, Purdue University is doing with collaboration now with Nelson Mandela and uh, it's a great effort, I think. In Africa, we lack critical mass. In Swahili, they call it Rasili Maliwatu. We don't have critical mass. As such, we cannot exploit or harness our natural resources. So this cause is one of the, the, that program which is training the African scientists, hands-on skills, for example, on industrial pharmacy and regulatory science. Those are rare skills and they are being trained by, by experts from the leading pharmaceutical industries from Purdue University. It's critical because long term we want to equip them to be the future leaders to help ensure access to quality medicine in sub-Saharan Africa. We want to help them to be, to be leaders so that they can ensure um, quality manufacturing um, by Africans, for Africans, and perhaps even someday beyond. Um, Africa. I also think it's critical to help build, to help bring and share knowledge so that it can build a community together, so that a community together can share knowledge and create change that can have a global impact. For example, in Tanzania we are told over 90% of our drugs are imported. So building critical mass towards industrial pharmacy and regulatory sciences is one step towards being able to make our own drugs because when we've got the experts it's very easy. Now to look for fi financing or to build these industries because we'll have our own uh, experts. What we need to do is to get a good knowledge of what current GMP is about. That's good manufacturing practices. And if we get that, we get the facilities right to be able to perform this act. Well, we become a global competitor among all the other countries of the world. They will be able to stand and be able to stand shoulder high with other countries of the world. And that is the aim of this program. We want to be able to train Africans. And in that training, it requires, just as we heard today, a mindset. A mindset that I'm as good as any other person. And I can do this. But there has to be that commitment on our part to be willing to learn, to make sacrifices, personal sacrifices. We cost you your money, that's the truth. People are getting medicine from our stores and they were not paying. We focus very strongly, as I mentioned, so for quality medicine, you need to understand from a technical perspective how to manufacture um, medicine and the considerations with an industry, and that would include both the scientific and technical aspects as well as the regulatory aspects because it's a product that ultimately is going to impact patients, so we need to ensure that it's safe and we need to ensure that it's effective. So that's really part of the rationale for behind the name of the regulatory science because it's not just compliance, it's not just meeting the regulations, it's a quality culture and building a system that can ensure that we also consider the science considerations behind regulatory. It came at the right time because uh, uh, it's the first uh, to be here in Tanzania and probably eastern uh, whole region of Africa and so it has given me more right on how I can develop uh, new drugs and how I can go for commercialization of the drugs and therefore I think it's, uh, it's the most important as I finish my PhD and I can um, go more with um, commercialization of the drug that can also be used now for human. Yeah.